story, man, like goes like this. My father has a lot of sides, and you hear about the fights. You don't hear about family that much and what that meant to him. And I remember the moment I fell in love with him when he was, uh, could make me cry. <laughs> What's your dad's name? Muhammad Ali. He would always tell me time is going to fly. He could foresee things and knew how important those things would be. It was unbelievable the power that this man had. And the little boy said, I got leukemia. And Ali said, I remember I told you that you are going to beat cancer and I'm going to beat George Foreman. And the little boy said, no, Muhammad, I'm going to meet God. And I'm going to tell him that I know you. George Foreman, how are you doing? He whispered in my ear, is that all you got, George? And that was about all I had. <laughs> This is a microphone, and when you get to be a big girl, I'm going to play this back so you can hear it. I was the concord of boxing. I was at a higher altitude than the rest, moving faster than the rest, but you just have to get used to riding on jets again. You can't ride concord <laughs> He actually said, I don't want you to be like me, I want you to be better than me. How can you be better than the greatest, huh? <laughs> You just can't imagine that in the word great. It has to be another word created. I mean, who doesn't know who Muhammad Ali is? People just feel the love that emanates from him, and people can feel that. You look beautiful. I know my mother, she looked at him, and she hugged him, and then she started to cry, and she left the room. She said, well, I looked into his eyes, and I saw God.